five foot three inches tall. Bamashon is five foot six and a half inches tall. Bamashon outreaches Harada by two and a half inches. And this has got to be an advantage, particularly as it's coupled with what is an enormous speed of the champion. His jab, his left jab, his double jab, or even his triple jab, I'm certain will be to the fore right from the opening stanzas of the bout. Jimmy Carruthers, I, I take it that you'd be quite happy with Pep's statements in our TV press conference that uh, a knockdown blow is worth more than just an ordinary straight jab. In other words, the weight of the punch is an important factor. And you'll That's be that. judging the fight tonight, the same as Pep will, the same as I will and Jim Taylor, on the five-point system. The five-point very quickly system is five points per round to the winner. If it's even, it's five points each. A close round goes five to the winner, four, four to the loser. Now, clearly one round, five, three. The bout's underway. Here's Jim underway Taylor. And here's Harada bustling in as everybody has predicted he will, and I'm quite certain Famishon expected him to. A fighting Harada from Japan. On the, uh, the right of your screen, Johnny Famishon made him miss. Two lefts by uh, Harada missed clearly. A light jab, a love tap, it actually was from Famishon. And this is the opening uh, uh, seconds of the first round. Two, uh, two minutes, 36 seconds to go. Harada jabs, Famishon wasn't there. Harada's uh, after Famishon, throwing out the left. Famishon comes back with a beautiful left jab to the face. A lovely left hook to the face by Famishon. And then he skips away again. Jabs out the left, Harada after him. First round in the world uh, featherweight championship. And already the crowd has uh, found voice. Harada in again. Shoulders, uh, Famishon out of the way. Willie Pep gets in, brushes the gloves, and that's it. Back goes Harada again. Away slips, slips Famishon in his faded shorts. And uh, he's wearing them because uh, he's won every bout that he's worn them in. Harada has got multicolored shorts. He's just ran into another jab from Famishon. Tries to go downstairs. Does Harada miss the, again? Uh, Famishon on the ropes, but weaving and bobbing both ways, his ring craft, oh, nice left hook uh, to the face, a long looping left it was, and in close, uh, Famishon just a little jab to the jaw, jolted Harada's head back, but it wasn't a great deal of power. Good jab again to the head by uh, Famishon, and the fighters clinch, Pep moves in and moves them away. Round one underway, a minute 36 left to go, a left grip to the body tried by uh, Harada, Famishon again, oh, nice left and another left to the head. Famishon comes back with the left jab. They clinch again, Willie Pep, the referee, ex-champion of the world, breaks the boys once more. Counter, uh, good left there from uh, Harada, but Famishon made him miss with consummate ease. He's a tremendous uh, ring evasionist as our world champion, Johnny Famishon. Nice right hook to the head there by Famishon. Harada's doing all the forcing of the fight. A left jab to the head by, by Famishon. He skips away again. A wild left tried by Harada. He wasn't there, and that's a champion. Once again, he was uh, miles away when the left came. Harada and Famishon, fit as uh, hands can make them, as the old saying goes, fit as Mally Bulls right to the body and then a left tried and Famishon had skipped away once more. Two seconds, 21 left in round one of the World Featherweight Champion bout at Sydney Stadium. Brought to you on Channel 9. In the neutral corner, wrestled a couple of jabs to the body, not much action, and Pep breaks them once more. This fellow's going to be in charge, Willie Pep, no doubt in the world about it. Five seconds to go in the round. Opening round of the scheduled 15 round bout. One second to go and here's a bell left uh, to the face at the end of it. Right here, now let's have a look at on the video disc and we'll see some of these straight lefts and left hooks that uh, are being exchanged by these two fighters. This slip to the canvas we'll have a look at on the video disc now. It's coming up on your screen. Uh, you'll see exactly what happens. We'll play it for you in slow motion. Now we have the video disc coming up. This is Johnny Famishon after the first round, and I had him a winner five points to four. Did you see it that way, Jimmy Carruthers? Yes, Ron. Now, here it is at normal speed, the slip in the first round, the only incident in the opening round of the fight. Now, watch Harada. That's it. Harada's shoulder seemed to catch him. Pep comes in. Now, let's slow it down, please, and uh, we'll have a look at it again. Now, let's uh, take it back, and we'll slow it down. You'll see the slip in the first round, the only real incident. And the second round's about to start, and we'll just have time to see this. 
It's either way, Havada more or less flicked him off balance, but nothing to it. And they come out for the second round, back to Jim Taylor. Well, the second round, it's uh, three quarters of the way across the ring was uh, Harada. Oh, he went into a straight left from Famishon. A left took to the head by Famishon. Hit two lefts to the body by Harada. Famishon skips away and tried the left himself, and Harada got in close, and it was around the neck as far as Famishon was concerned. No blow was scored, no points can be scored from it. Harada forcing the pace again, left and the right, but he missed with both of them. Tried another left and ripped to the body there by Famishon. And now Willie Pepe's going to have a busy job tonight if the opening rounds are. Uh, any example. A good left and a countering left there from Famishon with the ripper. And the left from uh, Harada is working overtime. Famishon making his miss. All ripping to the body and hitting pretty well there with three in a row with Famishon. Harada, that was uh, sorry, Harada and Famishon took them well. They wrestled back towards the neutral corner. Willie Peps had to step in once more. Good left and a countering left, but a good right and a left by Harada. Famishon's going to have his work cut out from this Japanese uh, terror tonight because he's. Uh, He's really working and walking after Famerson. Famerson doesn't look as sharp as I've seen him go. Ooh, a good line, a beautiful right by Harada. Be the compulsory eight. Famerson will get up. It didn't knock him completely down, but it was a beautiful right. Paul, the, the Japanese trainers are calling Harada in. Look at him run after Famerson. He'll have to run. And another right to the head. Famerson came back with a left to the head. The second round, a minute 45 left in it. And this has already got the earmarks of a really... Tremendous, another right to the head. Harada's opening up a, a tremendous point lead in this round with that right to the head. That's three beauties that he scored. Famishon took them all well, even the one that uh, sent him halfway down to the canvas. Harada after him. Famishon on the back move, fighting a chance. A rip to the body by Harada. And the Japanese champion is doing exceptionally well. A right and a left to the head by Harada. Famishon guarded up at too late. A low, lovely left to the head by Famishon, but that wasn't, uh, didn't have the power behind it that Harada's rights have had. Famishon skips away. Harada still forcing the pace. Oh, Famo went that big right hand there and it missed. Going for the body with rips and, and hooks is uh, Harada. Not many of them scored as Famishon guarded up well. Famishon on the back mover. Right to the body and left. The left hook there coming back from Famishon was a good punch. Harada took it well. It didn't even notice. It just like the fly brushing off the face. A good rip to the body there by Harada. And Famishon slipped in the sword after in the corner of the ring. 47 seconds to go in the in the second round of the bout now so wrestle to the canvas and Harada's in a bit of fluff and bubble Harada is really forcing the pace Famishon moves away Harada's hurt him three or four times with the right hand tried and Famishon made him with miss with the left and the right hook then but Harada not to be deterred comes in again they're in the neutral corner and peps in again his work's cut out these boys are really turning it on particularly fighting Harada and he's taking the points in this round without a shadow of a doubt a left and another left Famishan weaves and Harada waits to pick his punch the mark of the champion he doesn't waste any punches if he can possibly avoid it tried the right Famishan made him miss and in turn Famishan missed with a wild right to the head seven seconds to go in round two of the scheduled 15 round world championship bout Away they move. Here comes uh, Harada in again at the end of round two. Radio now. Let's go back to the second round. One minute 56 into the second round. And on the video disc, let's have a look at it in ordinary speed to see if it was a knockdown or a slip. Famishon, when he got up, tried to make out that it was a slip. Here it is at ordinary speed. Coming up, watch Harada. Harada in the, the white boots. Famishon in the black boots. There is a nice right. That was no slip. A good right hand punch over the top. Now we'll have a look at it on the video disc and you'll see it in slow motion. You can analyze this punch. Here it is. Now watch. It's no slip. It's definitely a knockdown punch. Here we go. Now here it is. There's the boot. Over the top and down goes Famishon. And one minute 56 into the second round and it was definitely a knockdown, not a slip. A right hand over the top. Jimmy Carruthers, how did you see that round? Well, I saw that round um, uh, five to Harada, three points to Famishon. Radio. Uh, after Famishon winning the opening round 5-4, we have uh, Harada winning the second round 5-3. That puts Harada one point in front. They're coming out for the third round. Here's Jim Taylor. Third round underway. Harada going to force the pace again. He's got to. He's uh, even up according to our two experts on the, the scorecard. He's one ahead. Famishon on the back move. I've got Harada two points ahead. I gave the first round even. A clinch in centre ring. No action at the moment. Famishon trying to tie Harada up. And as well he might need to because Harada in his gym work has uh, not had the... Ooh, this hat right over the top again. A beautiful right cross. He tried it from too far back, but he's after Famishon again. And Famishon is taking plenty with that uh, right hook. Another right on the head there by Famishon. By uh, Harada. Famishon in trouble as that right is taking its toll. A long right cross there connected. And Famishon's moving away. The right of Harada is really punishing the Australian and the world banner uh, featherweight champion. In comes uh, Harada again. 
a jab and another jab then from Famishon. He's skipping away, but the power of the punching isn't there in comparison to what Harada has been giving Johnny Famishon. A nice straight lift to the, the jaw by Famishon was a good punch and it jolted Harada's head back. Round three. Famishon waiting the chance. Left jab, just uh, touched Harada. Not much in that one at all. Left from both the boys, but Famishon's found it marked. Rip of the body, a good rip of the body there by Harada. Famishon tried the left hook and Harada made it miss, comes in, tries to rip of the body and wasn't allowed to score because Famishon tied him up and Pep comes in and breaks the boys. A minute 32 left in round three. Wild left tried by Harada. Harada having trouble nailing him except with that right hand. Famishon showed a weakness for the right hook and the right cross tonight. And Harada certainly worked on that weakness. One minute, 18 seconds to go in round three. Double jab tried by Famishon. It's the first uh, really authoritative jab he's tried or not. A good left jab by Famishon. A triple jab tried by Harada and a le left of the body by Famishon scored and uh, all the jabs from Harada missed. A left of the face by Famishon. A right tried by Harada and Famishon made it miss and skips right away. He's using every centre of the ring. No worries in the world. A good left jab to the head there by Famishon. That's Famo as we know him. Left hand getting on target. Not, not very crisp early but it's starting to find its mark a little bit more now as Harada has forced the pace right from the word go. And oh, are they fit? They're fit athletes, these two fellas. Make no mistake at all. Good left uh, tried by Harada, left hook, but Famishon got it up. A nice right, uh, left and a right by uh, Famishon with good punches. The crowd uh, applauds them, but they still weren't as good. You can take my word for it as any of the rights that have been scored by Harada. His right cross, his right hook has been tremendously effective, but Famishon's proved that he can take a punch and take it pretty well. 23 seconds left in round three. A left to the face there by Harada. Famishon moves away again, using all the, all the, uh, the ring. Pep, gonna have his work cut out. The boys, when they're clinching, they're not doing a great deal. There's that right tried by Harada again. Famishon weaves to the left and ducks away to the right. Fam Famishon uh, on the ropes most of the time. Harada left and right to the head. Famishon uh, in a little bit of trouble. This fellow's after him like a tiger. End of round three. Princess. Sports Australia presents a very special live event, the Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Cricket Match. The MCC takes on the rest of the world in a one-day game featuring some of the game's biggest stars. In conjunction with the match, there'll be a special telethon in support of the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute. The Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Cricket Match, live and exclusive from Lords, the home of cricket, 8pm Saturday on Sports Australia 2. Out of the shadows, you'd only see a glimmer then. He always worked alone. Mr. Lovebeads, you're gonna have to seek high enlightenment somewhere else. But out of his past... I think it's upset. He's been framed for murder. And the only piece of evidence I got points right at you. Determined to prove his innocence. Take your little sensitive ponytail and your little sissy beads and get out of here. He swore to protect his family. I don't appreciate being threatened. I don't like it. Nobody. Nobody threatens me. But on this case... Time to go. Now, we don't know how many guys are in there. Action speaks louder than words. I have something in my pocket right now. It'll completely clear up that bruise on your forehead. A bruise. From out of the kitchen onto the mean streets. Games are over. Stephen Seagal. If that's the best you got, I'm just gonna have to kill you. Keenan Ivory Wayans. You got you too, huh? No, I bought all this shit after the riots. Two good cops, one bad situation. See The Glimmer Man, Saturday, 10.15 on Movie Extra strapped into an ill-tempered machine. Its V6 engine cranks out Round four underway. Harada's speed has uh, surprised me. It surprised everybody here, including Johnny Famishon, I think. Uh, he's uh, been much uh, faster than he has been in his gym work, uh, according to all reports from Sydney. Famishon. On the back moves, painted with the left, both boys paint with the left. Famishon uh, has been trying to counter, and he, the speed of Harada hasn't given him much chance to counter. He's been as fast as Famo. There's Famo's famous left uh, jab, a double jab, coming into action then. Two minutes, 31 of uh, round four, and Harada ahead on points, according to Jimmy Carruthers, Carruthers ex bantamweight champion of the world, three points. A beautiful countering left of the head, a jolt at Harada's head back. And Harada, not undaunted, goes in after Famishon again. The champion moving away is uh, 
This is the way that he normally fights his fights on the defensive, waiting the counter. And he's got a fellow that's playing right into his hands. But at the moment, Fermachon uh, hasn't been able to do enough to uh, warrant the uh, title of champion in the world. The way the fight's going at the moment, Harada well on top. Harada in after again. Two left to the head again by Fermachon. And the left is starting to fire a little bit better than it did earlier. Right try to the head again by uh, Harada. Fermachon makes a miss as he tries to rip to the body. The rips and hooks were there, but Fermachon wasn't. Fermachon away again. He's elusive on the ropes. He's using the full ring. He jabs out the, the left as he's moving away. Another left to the head by Fermachon. Now that's starting to find its mark. I'm just wondering whether Harada's throwing everything into the first three rounds to try and unsettle Famishon and whether uh, the early burst is uh, starting to take its toll. Another left by Famishon. It's finding its mark a lot more than it was in the first three rounds. Harada moves in again. Two rights to the head in the clinch by uh, Famishon. And Willie Pep moves in to break the boys once more. Harada in multicolored trunks. In faded blue trunks is Johnny Famishon, the world, world featherweight champion. In a bit of flop and bubble there is Harada letting him have left to the head and the right to the head. Ripping into the body, Pep works, walks in, and I'd reckon Willie Pep would have uh, Harada, the challenger, ahead on points at this stage, because he intimated that he likes uh, the hard puncher. Famishon moves away, rips to the body, makes uh, Harada miss. Harada after him again. F.H. on his trunks. Johnny Famishon's just got paid, faded blue trunks. Back in the center ring. Famishon's using every inch of the ring. The double jab. He connected with the first and missed with the second. He tried it again and connected and then tried it again and connected. His frame is left for two left jabs to the face by Harada. Even that score up and peps in again. He's going to have his work cut out tonight as Harada is a bustling type of fighter. Famishon jabs out the left. Just touch. Love him noticeable to me that Harada is fighting now a little bit slower than he was in the first three rounds. He's fighting in bursts. The first three rounds, he was all over Famishon like a rash. Famishon skips away. He's superbly fit. In fact, both of the boys are. Famishon was made to miss with his, with his jab. Famishon tried to ride for the body. Famishon has uh, not used many rights, and he hasn't connected with uh, half the number that Harada had. Pep breaks him, steps him well apart, and he's refereeing very well. He's in control. Famishon's not. As Harada's in after him, he's got him into the corner, and that's the end of round four. Well, that was Famishon's best round to date. He's got this uh, straight left working now, and Jimmy, I'd say that Famishon is uh, starting to uh, strike his pace now. He may be wrong, but I'm inclined to lean towards the aggression there, I, uh, Famishon may have taken a lot on the arms there, but I still didn't think that he was countering. Rightio, yeah. well here it is, the last 30 seconds of the round, and uh, Jimmy, let's have a look at this together. What do you think? Is uh, Famishon poking out that straight left? We're seeing the last 30 seconds of the fourth round, and uh, I've inclined, with, uh, with all respect, Jimmy, to, uh, to disagree with you slightly there. I gave that round to Famishon 5-4. I thought he straight left won it for him. Now, this is the punch I'm talking about. That didn't land then, it's a little bit short. So I thought uh, Famishon's straight lips are starting to go a bit a bit better here. And, and Harada's starting to miss more. I think Harada, in that round towards the end, showed uh, a bit of physical tiredness by the expression of the face. Well, here we are, coming up with the fifth round, here's Jim Taylor. Fifth round underway. I'd mentioned in the fourth round that I thought Harada was tiring. It's interesting to hear Jimmy Carruthers, ex bantamweight champion of the world, agree. Famishon wasn't puffing at all back in his corner, and Harada was. Nice right hook for that jaw by... Uh, Famishon, that's his best punch to date in the fight. Uh, fighting Harada goes mad, comes in left and right to the head. Famishon skips away. Another nice right and two rips to the body by Harada. And he's opened up round five at a bat that makes uh, us belay our words that he was starting to tire a bit. The fighting machine from Japan, a Japanese hero, fighting Harada moves in on the world champion, Famishon. Famishon skips away once more, tries the left and gets a right to the head uh, for his trouble. Willie Pep. Got his job cut out to break them then. They, neither of the boys wanted to break. The left jabs out and the left and the right to the head uh, by uh, Harada. Famishon on the back move. Harada goes downstairs. Scored with the first one. Two love taps to the side of the head by Famishon and Pep works in again. He's earning his money as Willie Pep. Oh, nice left to the face by Famishon. That's uh, one of the few that he's landed in this round. The opening stands of the round. It's uh, Harada for mine and I'm sure for most of the people watching the fight. 1.51 to go. 1.50... One minute, 50 seconds in round five of the World Championship bout for the featherweight title. A scheduled 15 rounder, double jab from, from Famishon. Brought a little bit of claret out of the, uh, the left nostril of Harada. It hasn't perturbed him at all. He's still in after the champion. Boxing Famo said the crowd. Well, he's been trying to do it, and Harada certainly uh, not uh, giving him much chance. Oh, bit of shouldering uh, there by the champion. 
professionalism at its best or worst, whichever way you like to talk about it. The left and the left again by Famishan. That's his trademark, the double jab. That's a lovely left hook with a head by Famishan as Harada comes back with a right to the head and the nose. Left and the right to the body from Harada. Famishan moves away again. Harada's got him up in his own corner. Hook to the head there by Harada. Famishan took it well, came back with the left of the body and then skips away. Left and a right to the head. Famishan made another right to the head miss. A left and a right again, and Patterson comes in. He's not knocked down, don't worry about it. He was forced down by the bull rush tactics of Johnny Patterson. Ambrose Palmer is up saying, get over to your corner, Johnny, get over. It's not an eight count for mine, but Willie Pep's brought it on. That's even it up, but we'll look at that in replay in slow motion on the video disc. It was a rush to the floor, it wasn't a knockdown. A left jab and another jab by Famishan. The crowd comes to its feet. It's an Australian crowd, as it was a Japanese crowd when Lionel Rose won the Bantamweight title from Harada. An uppercut drive by Famishan. Harada at that stage seemed non -plus. Moving in after Famishan again. A left hook to the head of... And uh, Harada by Famo was a good punch, a beauty. 12 seconds to go in round five. And the crowds come to life as Famishan's starting to come back. Famishan a left and another left. Harada waiting for the opportunity to throw the left. And a head by Famishan. And I tell you what, they're not like that. And at the bow oh, yeah. in the ground, Friday was there again. Let's pick it up on the video disc. With me at ringside is Jimmy Carruthers. And we'll see the knockdown in the fifth round. And that was a great round for Famishan. And Harada is definitely starting to tire. Now here we are on the video disc. And watch it. You'll see the knockdown again. There's no mistake. There's a good punch from Harada that caught Famishan. And Harada's boring in all the time. But you're going to see Famishan land a good right over the top in a moment. That did set Harada down. There's a left hook. And that is the left hook that did the trouble, not the right. It is a good left hook. There's a mix-up of fighters, and Pep rightly sends Harada to his corner, and he gives him the compulsory eight count. Let's see it again in slow motion. It was definitely a good left hook from Famishon that put Harada down. Here it is coming up on your screen. Harada comes in, but he's open as the heads. See that left hook from Famishon? And the little Japanese boy is on his way to the canvas. He's going down. He's off balance. And Famishon comes in, and down goes Harada. There it is. It's a left hook that sent him down, and we're back live, and here's Jim Taylor. I can't agree, Ron Casey. I'm sorry. I still reckon it was a rush. He was off balance again. But still, that's the way we see it, and that's what even slow motion can do for you. You can still see it differently. But it's a talking point, and it's a butte talking point, because that's even the knockdowns down. The compulsory count has been called on both the boys. A low punch there from Harada as he moved in, but uh, didn't face Famishon at all. Left and right to the bodies, all taken on the forearms of Famishon. Didn't affect him one bit. Oh, beautiful countering left of the head by Famo. Over the top of the right from Famishon as he threw it to the body. A right cross uh, tried by uh, Famishon. It wasn't a bad one, just taken partly on the shoulder by Harada. Harada definitely is tiring, or else Famishon's starting to get a little bit of crispness in his work that wasn't there before. Harada after Famishon. Famishon are moving away. That's been the pattern of the fight right from the word go. A jab tried by Famishon. He pulled it halfway. A jab uh, to the head there by Harada. Just touched Famishon. He was skipping away. Moves the other way. A left to the head. Caught him as Harada bored in once more. The Japanese has got to be winning all the, all the points for aggression. He pulls in again in the neutral corner. Not much action. Wild swings by both the boys. as They're too close to do any damage. Willie Pip, the referee, well in command. Harada falls in and cut the right left. On the beautiful jab to the head there by Famo. Harada, I've got one point ahead. Jimmy Carruthers has got him two points ahead. Downstairs went Famishan. It wasn't a well-placed punch. Oh, beautiful left as Harada moved in. He ran into the, the lefty, starting to eat that left of Famishan, which has been his biggest point scorer in every fight that he's had. Harada moving in again. Famishan waiting the chance. A double jab tried by Harada. I don't know whether he's been watching the champion, but uh, he's pulled off that double jab quite a few times, but it's hardly scored with him. One minute and five seconds left to go in uh, round six of the championship bout for the featherweight championship of the world. Oh, beautiful right cross by Harada. Famishan fights back hard. He clinches and tries a short jab to the head, and it jolted Harada back. Back under the ropes they go, and Pep's in once more to break the boys. Kamashon certainly doesn't seem phased, and yet he's taken some decent right heads to the right hands of the head from Harada. Hooks and, uh, and uh, crosses. Nice jab by Famishan. Another one by Famishan. He jabs and skips away. Jab and skips away. There's a double jab. And the applause of the crowd at the festival hall. A right to the head by Harada. A couple of rabbit punches there by Famishan with one scoring points. Oh, on the break. One came from each of them. And Willie Pep said, now cut it up, boys. This is not the way to go. It's a world champion fight, however. 
The right for the body by Harada, left uh, the head by Famisham. They clinch once more. Kidney punches from uh, both the boys here. Round six, well underway. 15 seconds left to go in round six. And what's been a tremendous fight here at the Sydney Festival Hall. but they weren't hurt till punches by Famo. Four seconds, three seconds, and Famishan makes Arada miss, and he threw plenty of leather. End of round six. Oh yeah, there's Famishan going back to his corner, and how did you see that round, Jimmy Carruthers? How did you score it? Okay, that's a Famishan. Well, uh, I've got Famishan ahead by two points at this stage. How do you score it? Well, that would make it even fight up to now, but I think Harada is tiring. Let's go back to one minute 25 seconds of the of the sixth round, and we'll see Famishan uh, going at full board. This is one minute 25 seconds. Normal speed we've got this at. This is the video disc replay, halfway through the sixth round. Now watch Famishan poke out that straight left. This is the punch that is scoring points for Famishan. There's no doubt about that. And a lot of these blows when Harada rushes in are simply not landing. See that nice left hook, the ping left hook from Famishan. Caught Harada as he's coming in. And uh, Harada is definitely starting to tire. It's, it's quite obvious that Harada is uh, starting to feel the pace. We've got the seventh round coming up. How do you see the fight shaping, Jimmy? Okay, the fight with the, at the present stage with Harada starting to tire. And as you say, that little inside left hook is causing the damage. Rightio, here we're back live at Sydney Stadium. Here's Jim Taylor. Round seven. And this has been a tremendous title fight. Believe you me, everybody here tonight has enjoyed it thoroughly, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Two worthy contenders, the champion and the contender fighting Harada, who's as game as Ned Kelly ever was. Left to the head from Harada. There's the answer from Famishan. Famishan waiting the chance. Double jab, nothing in it. There, there was plenty in that one, and there's plenty in that one as Harada tried the two jabs to the head and Famishan made him miss. It's noticeable to me that Famishan is as fit as when he started. He jabs and jabs again and Harada is starting to blow. Maybe the pace that Harada has been forcing this fight at has started to tell on him. Jim Carruthers seems to think he's tiring. We all do. We thought that from the start of round four. But he started to blow in round seven and he hasn't done that before. There's a little bit of a mark on Harada's uh, uh, right eye. It's a uh, more of a graze than a cut at this stage. It's in between the bridge and those. A beautiful left to the head by Famishon. And his left is starting to do the damage. And that's been his world championship weapon, that left. As has been his speed around the ring. The jab underneath the heart by Harada. Famishon moves both ways in the ring. Harada caught him there, tried to right and another right, but Famishon was on the back moves. He took it, counters with the left over the top of the right thrown by Harada. Famishan moves away, right club up to uh, counter the left. It's a right that's been his biggest worry, however, and in the neutral corner they break as uh, Willie Pep moves in to separate the boys once again. Harada, a worthy challenger for Johnny Famishan. No worry in the world about this one. It's his hardest fight that he's had for many a long day. That's a bad sign when he starts to swing like that. Harada, Harada is definitely tiring, Ron. I don't think there's a shadow of doubt about it. He's still got a damaging right hand, as we saw earlier in the bout, but... He's going to lack, I feel, the fitness and the pace to keep up with the champion. But still, you never know with a fighter of Harada's ability. Back in the centre ring. 55 seconds to go in round seven. We're nearly at the halfway mark. In fact, we're over it. A scheduled 15-rounder. They clinch once again. In comes Pep. Makes it. Harada's definitely tiring. Famishan seems as fit as he ever was. Missed with the first jab, scored with the second. Harada now going for the body a lot more than he was early in the bout. Pep moves in once more. They move away. Two jabs by Harada. Left hook by Harada. Scored it. Found its mark. Famish on him with a short jolt to the head. 25 seconds to go in round seven. Harada throws a long right. It's scored. And so did the carrying jab from, from uh, Famishon. They clinch once more. <laughs> and Harada's holding Famishon up. Step back, said Willie Pep. 11 seconds to go. A jab from uh, Famishon from a long way off. Another one tried just over the top of Harada's glove. Harada... Hasn't got the pace that he had early, and he's not really going after Famishan with the authority that he did. A beautiful comeback by Famishan at the end of round seven.
they're going through the good times. I love my team when they're going through the bad times. We love the Knights, we love the Dragons, we love the Bulldogs, we love the Rams. We love the Warriors, we love the Chargers, we love the Panthers, we love the Bears. In August, ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, will be kicking. Baseball, step up to the plate for Major League Baseball games. Golf, catch the LPGA Tour and the game's legends on the Senior PGA Tour. Basketball, we hit the court for all the action from the WNBA. Motor racing, strap yourself in for high octane cut, Formula 3 and NASCARs. Tennis, we join the ATP Mercedes Super 9 Tour. NFL, American football action. Soccer, catch some of the world's superstars in Dutch football. Boxing, relive some of the classic clashes of all time in Super Bouts. Yes, there's all this and much more in August on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Radio, Jimmy Carruthers, let's have a look at the last few seconds of that round when uh, I think we might be able to observe that Harada is, is really starting to tire. We're not just imagining this. There's no sting in his blows anymore, Jimmy. Would you agree with that? Yes, but uh, he also seems to be sucking air or taking uh, his... See that? Whereas Johnny F Famisham doesn't look as though he's started in hail at all yet. I think he'll start to put the pressure on shortly. If anyone's not going to see this fight out, it'll be Harada. Famishon could win inside the distance. Well, I doubt whether he's got the punch through that. He's cut the opponents to pieces rather than not. A good left and right hand by Harada. He's, uh, that minute rest has done him the world of good at the opening stands of round eight. A left and the right to the head by Harada were good punches. Famishon moved back to his own corner, and now he's uh, away again. Throws out the left hand as he's trying to unbalance Harada. Harada, Harada does likewise. Famishon skips away. Harada tries to go downstairs. Famishon was still there. Keep him up, said Pep. Oh, nice left to the face of uh, Harada. And Harada moves in left and right. Famishon was in a bit of froth and bubble then, but got out of it cleverly because he's one of the best uh, boys in the business for uh, body weaving and head movement. Harada, he's caught him with that right hand again. He stopped throwing it for two or three rounds, and now he's after it again. He went downstairs. Now he's transferred it back to the head and he's getting the result that he got in the first three rounds. Rada, forcing the fight. Famishon on the back loop, waiting a chance to counter. Tried the uppercut, it didn't uh, connect, which was probably a good thing, because there was plenty of power in it. A low blow there by Harada. It was quite low on the break, and the crowd uh, didn't appreciate it. Harada throws out the gloves to uh, uh, signify to Famo he didn't mean it, and they're back into it again in the neutral corner. They're clinching, and Pep's going to have to move in and break them once more. He breaks them pretty well. There was a, some concern as to whether he would break them as far as the Tartars Australian referees do well in a beautiful left of the head there by Famishon. Harada forcing the, the fight once more. He's come back in the eighth round, but he never scored with any damaging blow in that encounter, and Famishon took them all on the uh, side of the body or around the back of the body. Harada in after him again. He's gone downstairs, and he's forgot about the right cross, which has been his successful punch in the fight to date. gone body mad he's throwing them all downstairs unless he's trying to suck him for the opening for the right cross to follow but he hasn't put a combination a beautiful short right to the head by famishan that's his best punch of the fight for mine right for now harada comes in after him famishan makes him miss with consummate ease harada's right eye seems to be closing there's a little mouse underneath it the left is trying to uh, has found its mark that often the right eye is closing not badly but uh, it's definitely a mouse under the eye, countering right to the head by Harada. Wasn't a bad punch, although Famishan was back moving as he received it. Harada in after Famishan again. Famishan makes him miss. And this is one of Famo's hardest fights that he's had in his career of over 60 fights. This is his 62nd fight, and he's only lost four of them. And the way he's going, he's not going to lose this one. A short uppercut, which dodged Harada's head back. He's a tough boy, this 
uh, fighting Harada from Japan make no mistake. 14 seconds to go in round eight. The fight's more than halfway over. Jab and a jab again by Famo. He tries it again and scores once more. Harada seems to be nonplussed by it as he bores in rather the bull rush tactics to fighting Harada at the end of round eight. Jim Taylor called the best punch of the fight so far. It was a beautiful right hand. Here's normal speed, and it's a beautiful right hand by Famishon. Famishon's in the dark boots, uh, Harada in the white. Now watch it, it's, the, it's a beautiful right hand. Oh, what a nice punch. Nice right. Let's go back and have a look at it now in slow motion. Uh, you didn't quite appreciate it, it went by so quickly, but it was a beautifully timed punch. Now here it is in slow motion, you can pick it up. See that? See the way it jolted Harada's head back? Jimmy, I, I think it was a good punch and uh, beautifully timed. And in slow motion, what? we can show you just how wonderful uh, uh, Famishon's reflexes are and how his ability. There it is landing again. A good punch, Jim. It was a good executed punch, but I still think it was an even round with, with aggression. And uh, Here's the ninth round, Jim Taylor. Well, Harada seems to recover pretty well with that minute's rest. He was three quarters of the way across the ring before uh, Femerson had hardly got off his stool. Jab and a jab again by Femerson. Didn't find him out. Harada still forcing the paces. Jimmy uh, Carruthers has said aggression not good's a hallmark of uh, Harada, and there's no doubt about that. Famishon's fought a good fight. No worries at all because he's uh, countered and he's taken some good punches and he's come back and jabbed and hooked and ripped and he's thrown every punch in the book when the occasion has uh, arose. Oh, nice right to the head there by Harada. Was taken partly on the shoulder by Famishon. Two left jabs to the head by Harada and Famishon rips to the body. Bully Pep's earning his money. He's had to break him quite a bit and I think uh, not being able to get the leg was a good countering left to the jolt of the jaw by Famishon. He brought another one off and that left has really taken his toll. Kidney punch is almost there by, by uh, fighting Harada. Famishon's left, as always, has been the great point scorer for him. Tries it again, the double jab. It's a hallmark of Famishon. The double jab king, the double jab champ. Wild left tried by Harada. Famishon was moving away. Jab and a jab again. Harada tries it. A right, an outside right tried by uh, Famishon, and it scored only to the ear of uh, Harada. Harada's definitely tiring. It was noticeable in the break uh, between round eight and nine that Harada was flexing his legs, throwing them out, which means that the rubber feeling is starting to get there. Although you might think it as he bores in after Famishon now and gets him on the ropes. A minute 23 seconds left in round nine. Famishon really throws a right, but he can throw them and throw them hard as all. Well. Hey, the strength of Harada was very uh, well shown there as he just pulled Famishon back to the ropes right hand. Rip to the body by Harada, wasn't a bad punch. Famishon ties him up, a short jolt to the side of the head by Famishon, and Pep's moving in again. Willie Pep about two stone over his best fighting weight. Oh, good right by Harada. Famishon uh, took it well and moved away, tried to rip to the body as he slipped inside the lead up and uh, couldn't do much about, about it. Rake it up, rake it up, rake, said Willie Pitt. Short up and tried by uh, Famishon. Neither of uh, the boys got into any successful chances in that encounter. Rake again. Here comes from Willie Pitt, the referee. Hamo skips away. His evasiveness is beautiful to watch. And look at that for a classical example of how good it is. Harada, oh, beautiful jab to lift uh, straight to the point of the jaw from Famishon, and it uh, rocked Harada. It was a beautiful lift. Ten seconds to go in round nine. The world featherweight champion bout coming from Festival Hall in Sydney. Jab and jab again goes that left. End of round nine, a pretty good round. Well, there's Johnny Famishon going back to his corner, and Famishon, by my card, is... Uh, a clear leader at this stage, Jimmy Carruthers, how do you see it? Here's the puffing Havada in his corner. I've got Famish in, uh, what does that make it? Uh, I was, well, he's the leader, but it's... Um... Well, while Jimmy's making up his card, we'll just have a look at the last 30 seconds of that round. So, you see some of those good punches, the good straight left that uh, Famishon was able to land. Now, this is Famishon, the dark shoes, uh, the white shorts, the white shoes, is fighting Havada. Uh, Jimmy, uh, how did you see that round? A bit slow, sorry to be slow, Ron. Uh, I've got, uh, that was Famishon's round again. Harada with aggression, but still and all, he wasn't landing. And, uh, 
so much, and Johnny done some very nice uh, vase of action with Canterbury. I've got uh, Famishing two points in front of the present stage. Radio, the seconds are out of the ring, and our video disc has stopped, and we're waiting for the tenth round to come up now. And uh, back to Jim Taylor. Thanks, Ron. This has been a, a wonderful fight. Oh, left and right to the head by Harada. That minute's rest, he recuperates so quickly. But he's starting to tire early in the rounds, much earlier than he was, say, in the fifth, sixth, and seventh round. Left the body and left again, and a wild right tried by Harada. Famishon moves away, waiting for his chance to counter. He's been counting with the left. And got that right cross again, and there it is again. A right hook to the head by Harada. Not much authority in that one, though. But the right hook, I don't know why he stopped using it for two or three rounds. He went downstairs, and a light, nice left to the head by Harada. Famishon pipes out his left, and Harada runs into it. A jab and a left hook to the head by Famishon was a good punch, and Harada uh, wrestles with him, and Willie Pep moves in to break the boys once more. Left to the head by Famishon as he skips away, waiting the chance. Famishon uses very few combinations of left, uh, straight left or left hook and a right cross. Um, whereas Harada is more copybook in his uh, combinations. Good left hook to the head there by Famishon as Harada was unbalanced. Famo moves away, Harada trying to pick him up and that's the hardest thing in the world to do, like finding the proverbial needle. A minute 40 seconds or a minute 43 seconds left in round 10. Famishon skipping away. The left pokes out and Harada hits him with the right to the tummy. This has been one of the hardest fights that Johnny Famishon has ever had, I think, because Harada has poured the pressure on right from the word go. Beautiful left jab to the head by Famishon. The atmosphere at Sydney Stadium is uh, tremendous. And there's many Melbourne sportsmen up here. Left and left again to the head by Famishon. They were lightning fast punches. A right tried by Harada. Famishon moves away, makes him miss and makes him look as though he's a rank amateur and he's anything but. He's a double world champion in the flyweight and the bantamweight division and now he's fighting for the world uh, featherweight uh, title. So uh, that makes Famo, I don't know, will you, you name it, the Scarlet Pimpernel will do for me. 47 seconds left to go in the round. Oh, absolutely right. That clubbing right though, it wasn't with the, the outside of the goal. Another right by Harada was a good punch, but Famishon took it very, very well. Moves away. Comes back with a left of the head. Harada tries to go for the body and Famishon moves away again. That right cross has been the best punch Harada's uh, been able to score with in the fight. And for three or four rounds, he just gave it away and went downstairs and tried to rip to the body. I don't know whether it was on instructions or not, but if it was, it seemed ill-advised at the time. And I think this round has proved it once more. This has been Harada's round. Good left by Famishon. Another left by Famishon. Oh, that's it right again. Famishon comes back. Jab, jab, jab. Three beautiful jabs. And then receives a left back from uh, Harada. Round 10 ends. And a good round that was for Harada. Right, let's have a look at the last 10 seconds of that round and see this tremendous right hand that Harada... There it is. What a good punch. Let's take that back and have a look at it again because that's one of Harada's best punch punches for the last three rounds. Now, over there. Slow it down now. Here we go. Quick, we've got to do it quickly because the round is coming up. Here's Harada's uh, good right hand. Speed it up a bit. Now, here's the right coming over. Back live. Back live it is on Harada three quarters of the way across the ring again as the bell sounds. It's round 11, the fight's two-thirds over. Jimmy Carruthers has got uh, Famish on two points ahead. So have I. But Harada has made a comeback in the last two rounds. He seemed to tire. I don't know whether he had a breather or not, but he certainly made a comeback in the last two rounds, and the last round was a good uh, good round for him. A right tried again by him. There it was again. I said it earlier, I'll say it again, like he should have uh, not given it away. It's been a tremendous score for him, and it's shown a weakness in Famo's kit. Here it is again. 
jab and a jab from Harada and a countering jab from uh, Famishon. Pamela haven't seen the speedy as he often has kidney punches by Harada there. I think he might get a bit of a chat from Willie Pip. No, he pats the boys and moves them away again. Harada went and fainted the, the right, left and the right to the head by Harada. He's really come back well. Two minutes to go. Famishon comes back with a left jab. Harada still boring in. He's not giving the champion time to settle. Left on the left, but Famishon comes back with a left hook to the head. They wrestle once more. Famo looks to his corner for instructions. I think he could be a worried champion at this stage of the battle. Left and another left by Famison with good punches. At this stage of the battle, I'd say that Famison's no certainty to get the nod from referee Willie Pitt. Going on his statement that he likes the hard punches better than the... Uh, the line of the Beautiful punch. And that was a no, uh, no worry. I can't work that one out. I still can't work it out. Harada's gone in for the kill. Famison's in trouble. Thomas, Thomas, say to Famo, get away, don't party, move away. Another right to the head. That's been the damaging punch of Harada. A wild swing from Harada. Famo has nearly gone berserk in his corner. He's telling Famison to move away. A right from Famison was a good punch. But believe you me, that right from Harada, and I can't understand why there was no no count at all. It was no slip, it was a dead set knockdown. 40, se 40 seconds to go in round 11. Harada in for the kill. Pamerson fighting for time. And he's a worried world champion at this stage. pamerson has got a chance to look at Harada seemed to be nonplussed. I don't know what it was, whether he slipped or was dazed or what it was. But it didn't help him one bit. But Thomason hit him with the left and the right to the head. But this has been Harada's round. Make no mistake. It's got to be an even Stephen Bout on my scorecard with four rounds coming up. A wild right tried by Harada. He's gone mad with the, with the right. Seven seconds to go in uh, round 11. And what a round this has been. A turn up for the books could be on the way. Pamishon tries a short jolt to the head. They end at round 11. Right, now let's have a look on the video disc and you'll see some gross inefficiency by the referee of tonight's fight. No uh, compulsory eight count. Here it is in normal speed. We'll see the knockdown punch. Watch it. Here's Harada coming up now. And watch Pamishon. Now, we've got to watch this because if it is a slip, well, then there's no eight count. But if it wasn't a slip, it was a dead set knockdown punch. And why Pip didn't apply the compulsory eight count, why he didn't apply the compulsory eight yet, look at him wasting time here. Here it is on the video disc, have a look at it again. And Willie Pip has made a major blunder here tonight by not giving Famichon the compulsory eight count. Here's the punch coming over, there's the punch that did the damage. Look at Famichon's head, it's almost as though it was going off his shoulders. Famichon's going down. Now watch Pep come over. Speed it up to normal speed again, please. Now Pep's going to come over. And watch, Famishon's down. They should have started to count at that point and pick the time up for the timekeeper. Instead, Willie Pep came over, talked to Famishon, wiped his gloves, and didn't apply any compulsory aid count to give Famishon time to recover. Now back to Jim Taylor. Well, I don't know why either. Ron, I said the comment at the time was a dead set knockdown. A good left to the head by Famishon. And there's no certainty. I've scored them level pegging. How are you got a Jimmy Carruthers? I've got Famishon one up at the present stage. And I've got Famishon one up too, Jim. Well, I'm the odd man out here, but I've got it level pegging, and there's uh, four rounds to go in the bout. It's anybody's bout. No worries in the wide world about that. Johnny Famishon is a defending champion. He's up against a very worthy ch challenger in the Japanese Tiger fighting Harada. Jab, jab to the head by uh, Famishon. A right cross to the head by Famishon. A left jab to the head by Famishon. He's starting to fight like we, we know he can. Harada's got him worried, though he's opened up a weakness. Two jabs to the head by Famishon. Another jab. It didn't find its mark. Two jabs uh, poked out the right to the body and a lift grip to the head uh, from, uh, from Harada. Famishon, a rip to the body. The shoulders are working overtime in the clinches. Famo's going to have a sore head. He's taken plenty of right crosses and right hooks. A right to the body by Harada. Jimmy Carada's just observed that Harada's using his shoulder quite a bit there, Jim. Well, uh, Famo's uh, been giving him <laughs> a bit of corner both ways, uh, because I, I've seen him uh, do it. Oh, good, beautiful left uh, to the face by Famishon then. Harada moves in, 140. Left to go in round 12. Three rounds after this, and it'll see the distance. Well, I don't know. We said early that uh, Harada tired, but he didn't seem to. He's hit Famishon, a beautiful countering left to the head there by Famo as he came up. 
but Harada didn't go for the head when uh, Femerson was weaving him ripped to the body and that was good tactics because the head's too hard to hit with me up against a fellow swimmer has class in the body weaving and head movement department a minute 15 seconds to go in round 12 Harada still forcing the pace of the fight Femerson's still on the back move but he's counted beautifully in this round up to date this is his round the clinch in center ring Harada seems as though he could be tiring, or maybe he's saving his berth for the last one or two rounds. He's got much in this, the head uh, being used pretty low there. Famo didn't like it one little bit either, and he showed his displeasure. Famerson made uh, the left hook miss. Oh, beautiful left to the head by you, Famerson. The kidney from the way, and he's brought a few of them off tonight. Harada now appears to be tiring again. Femo starting to bleed a little bit from the right nostril. He's tied Harada up beautifully there, then Harada uh, made Femerson miss. Femerson keeps looking to his corner for instructions. He's a worried boy, and he fights beautifully instructions, two instructions, left to the face by uh, Femerson. Ten seconds left to go. Nice left hook to the head by Femerson. Jab, a beautiful jab, right, right this is Famo's round. The world champion fights back. Brothers and myself have uh, uh, Famishon winning the 12th round. Now it's back to Jim Taylor. Round 13, and what a vital round this is going to be as are each of the last three rounds. Keep Not much in up. this fight. Famishon moves away. Harada after him as he's been right from the word go, and up, looks like it's going to be up, up to the word woe. to the body was a good punch by uh, Tarada but too much to the back says Willie Pitt and that's the first time he's warned Tarada about it and I've mentioned it quite a few times in the call left and a left of the head by Famo couple of left hooks just over the top of the right of Harada Johnny Famishon's not going to win this one easily you can back that in if he wins it it's going to be a close decision and Willie Pitt's the only man that can give that decision a lot rests on him In a fight that's as close as this has been, there's going to be a disappointed camp one side of the ring or the other. Okay, Two minutes to go in round 13. When I say break, break, said Willie Pep, the referee, ex world ch champion himself. Jab, jab again goes Famerson. There's definitely a cut on Harada's right eye. It's only a very minor one, but it's there, and Famo has only got two and a half rounds to work on it. Pitt hasn't had an easy fight when one compares it with the Rose Rudgeon fight. The right to the body tried by Harada. Famerson moves away again, waiting the chance to counter with the left. Jabs it out. Harada was on the back move. He came back and poked that a left. There was no authority in it whatsoever. Good left to the head there by Harada. Beautiful right cross to the head by Famerson. He doesn't go on with the business. No combination at all was applied. Famishon now doing a little bit of the chasing. It's about the first time in the fight that we've seen Harada on the back move. Whether he's trying to suck him in for the right cross again, I don't know. But it's the first time in the fight that he's gone on the back move. Now he reverts to his normal style, fighting Harada. The Japanese Tiger is in after Famishon once again with rips, hooks, crosses, a lot. Jabbing out the right again. He's getting set to throw that right. Got a slight cut in his right eye, his Harada. 30 seconds to go in round 13 in the world featherweight ban uh, featherweight title for the world at the Sydney Stadium. Harada moves in on Famerson, who moves away and jabs out a right cross with a beautiful punch from Famerson. The crowd goes berserk. A double jab and a right and another right by Famerson with beautiful uh, combinations and beautifully applied. But still the best punch of the fight has been the right cross round by Harada that floored Famerson. Four seconds to go in round 13. What a fight it's been, worthy of a world title bout. It's the final round of the Commonwealth.
here we are, the dramatic last two rounds at the Sydney Stadium of Harada versus Famishon for the World Featherweight Championship. Round 14, Harada's across the ring again. Famishon immediately on the defence. Two short right uh, hooks to the head by Famishon. They were good punches. I think he shot uh, Harada by throwing the right. He's looked set for the left and painted beautifully with it. And away went the right and the, almost two jabs to the side of the head. But there was a lot of authority in them. A wrestle. And there's been a bit of shoulder used when they get in the clinches, believe you me. Good, good jab by Famishon, a good carrying right by Harada. Harada still moving in, pouring in on the champion. The champion's right back with the right, right cross. And now he's started to come the punch that was almost his undoing in the early stages of the fight. Hip breaks him once more. Harada in with a left and a right. They were good punches. Famishon comes back on a left hook with a hit with a good punch from Johnny Famishon, the world featherweight champion. Break, 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 break. Said Willie Pep, let's go again, he said. The right cross was a wild one, tried by Harada. Famishon still picking his mark, jabbing up the left, waiting to throw the right. He's thrown a few more in the last two rounds, the left and a right combination, and another left of good punches by Famishon. And uh, to this stage, he's uh, winning this round. There's a minute uh, 48 seconds left to go in round 14. A minute uh, 45 seconds. We're nearly at the end of the World Championship about One round to go after this. Harada still forcing the pace. Famison comes out of the corner. Harada puts up force and Famo through the ropes. Step back, said uh, Pep. And that's exactly what they do, and they're into it again. Jab, jab from both the boys. Famison moves on. Right cross from Harada. Found its mark once more. Jumping up a bit of a weakness in the champion. That right cross has been a tremendously dangerous punch. A harder puncher could have really settled the fight. Head buff there. His shoulders, heads, elbows, and just about everything being used in the clinches. Harada came off the worse than Famishon did there. Famishon moves away. Harada in, ripping to the body. A right to the head by Famishon. Tried the left. Harada's too strong when they get in closely. Ripping away to the body. Famishon comes back and tries a jab. A rip underneath the heart by Famishon. That's a real dead set wrestle. Left from Famishon finds a mark. I thought that the Harada was going to try the right. A beautiful countering left from Famishon. He's finishing on full of fighters of worthy world champion Johnny Famishon. But what a worthy challenger in the Japanese Tiger fighting Harada. Willie Pips earned his money tonight. 30 seconds to go in round 14. Harada moves in. The left hand of Famishon is going to work over time. It has from about round eight onwards. It's been his greatest point scorer as it always is. 20 seconds to go. Harada, oh, good right hook, a beautiful hook by Famishon. And a right hook to the head by Famishon. The crowd's all Famo's way. It's an Australian crowd. Beautiful right cross. Eight. Is it all? Harada's in for the kill. The bell times by Famo. Let's have a look at it on the video disc. The last seconds, the knockdown. Well, in the 14th round, a sensation. Oh, look at that, a right hand over the top. And Famishon is as groggy. He tried to get up immediately. Let's see it again. Bang, what a beautiful punch. Down he goes. Now look at the way his head rolls back. Now watch the way his head drops. That's when a man's really been hurt. Now he gets up and watch how groggy Famishon is. Just look at this, Jimmy. He looks to be in a lot of trouble. Look, he's you can hardly stand there. He's gone all right. He's completely. He's hit, hit the canvas very hard and bounced. Yeah. Rightio. Now let's go back and see the punch again because that that was really the most telling punch of the fight. Well, he would have won the round probably comfortably, but after that knockdown, I would say you'd have to get the round. Of here we are back live, and there's a dramatic finish, and here's Jim Taylor. Is there ever? Round 15, the World Featherweight Banner, uh, World Featherweight title. Famishon in trouble. There's a minute dressed and able to recover. Harada's going to go for the doctor here, and he's got Famishon in trouble. Famishon was groggy at the end of round 14. World Championship, this one. I'm not going to pick it. I'm glad I'm not Willie Pitt. There can't be a knockout now. There's nine seconds left to go. Seven left to go. Harada comes in. Famishon fights him back. Three seconds left to go, and here it goes, a bell. The decision is a draw. The fight is finished here at Sydney Stadium, and the World Featherweight Championship, the decision is a draw. A draw. Johnny Famishon and fighting her right at the Sydney Stadium before the draw. Here's Jim Taylor. This is...
TCN Channel 9, Ron Casey at ringside, the decision in the big world title fight, a draw. Willie Pep has declared Harada and Famichon a draw. Willie Pep, can I ask you a question? How good a fight was it as a world champion, an ex-world champion yourself? They're both champions, they're both good fighters. Aren't they ever? It wasn't a tremendous fight. Yes, it was. It's very hard to pick. Willie, good man, the beauty. Japanese camp is, is, is inspecting in the far corner. They're inspecting the, the, uh, the scorecard of Willie Pep. Cheer. Now it's Harada getting the big cheer from the crowd. I said, Ambrose, my last comment, I wouldn't like to be Willie Pep yeah. and have to make a decision. That's correct. But he deserves a lot of credit, little fella. He's a game. Oh, Johnny already he kept coming. And Johnny brought the best out on Johnny tonight. Johnny boxing was superb. I thought he was gone the 14th round, but he showed a ton of courage, and he's a worthy champion. Oh, is he ever? And I, I'd just like to say, Johnny, uh, I wish you had a one at, I'm sorry, mate, like Hawthorne won it last week, but he was a great challenger, and you're a worthy champion. Thanks, Ambrose. Well, at ringside, Johnny Famishon has got a sore ankle. Johnny Famishon looks very upset. The crowd is booing the decision. How's the ankle, Johnny? How's the ankle, John? Uh, well, I, I, when I went over for one time, I twisted the ankle, you know, and. Uh, uh, it was a bit of a bother, Jim, but uh, I won't offer that as an excuse. I'll tell you what, mate, there's no excuses. You proved yourself tonight a worthy champion, and I wonder what the knockers would say about you now. You're a beauty. Very proud of you. No worry. We'll see you after. Well, there's the darling of the crowd tonight, fighting Harada. He's getting the cheers of the crowd, and quite obviously, the three the knockdowns that the Harada stadium scored, they think that he should have got the decision. Chaos. It's the only way you can describe it. But it's one of the best title fights anywhere in the world. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Well, there's Famishon and Arada exchanging mutual congratulations. And, well, it's a natural rematch. This has been a tremendous fight. A tremendous fight. And Famishon and Arada, there's no ill feeling between them. In fact, they mutually admire each other's ability. But... It was a difficult judge, judgment on Pep's decision. Number one, the number of knockdowns. And here is the Japanese manager, the police, and Mickey Duff checking Willie Pep's scorecard. Now, that was Pep's decision announced. This could be reversed if there's some miscalculation and there's some, uh, something wrong in the addition. Because in the press conference, you will remember that we had on Channel 9 that Pep's decision was only as he totaled the card. If his card or his additions are incorrect, the titles could still be a loss by Famishon. So don't go away, folks. Anything could happen. They're checking the card now. There's Famishon, there's uh, Harada being cheered, and uh, the police and, uh, and uh, Harada's manager are checking the scorecard of Willie Pep. Well, I asked Willie Pep, you know, how he made the decision. He said, I couldn't split them. They're both worthy champions, and they both deserve to be in there tonight. And from an ex-world champion, and regarded as one of the best, what a rap that is, and what a fight. Here is the announcement by the stadium itself. That is Mickey Duff in centre screen with the scorecard. That is a Japanese pressman checking it. And Ray Connolly, the official announcer here at Sydney Stadium, is standing next to Mickey Duff. They're checking the scorecard, and uh, there might be a sensation, but I doubt it. Uh, I think the decision will remain a draw. On centre screen now is a radio announcer speaking to uh, Richie and you, uh, one of the Japanese representatives from QG Television. They're still checking that scorecard. Famishon seems a little bit upset that the crowd is booing him. And he's saying, well, what can I do? What can I do? And such a game performance, it's a terrible thing that they're booing him. Here is the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after an official checking of the referee's scorecard, Johnny Famishon goes 70 points, throwing her up.
Shaw. And either way, he retains the world featherweight title. A drawn decision means he's still the champion. But after checking the scorecard of Willie Pip, uh, Johnny Famishon is still the champion. 70 points to 69. Well, quite a bit of controversy surrounded that decision by Willie Pep. Obviously, maths wasn't his strongest point. But ever the gentleman, Famishon gave Harada a rematch and even travelled to...